Hello, 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 and welcome to Bad Mouse Gaming. I am your host, Dave, aka Bad Mouse, and we are here in Planet Crafter. I'm just sitting here thinking how to plan my day out. Um, every time I plan something, things pop up, things go awry. But I do have a small little plan, I'll show you here in a little bit. But before we get started, let me remind everybody, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, now's an awesome time to do so. Click that little subscribe button down there, make a man happy. And um, leave a comment. I have been reading the comments. I have, I have. I might not be replying to all of them, but I am reading them. And um, click that like button. If this is something you guys enjoyed watching, let me know. Click that like. And with all that, let's jump into this. And let's, let's get prepared for the rainy season. Alright, so my plan today is to install an ore extractor, which is coming up soon. A biodome, which is coming up pretty soon. And the grass spreaders, a handful of them. And I might try to get off a rocket or two. Depends on the recipe for the engine. We'll see how that goes. But right now, my first priority is to find the cave that's got these little green rocks. And, um, I think I'm gonna, got an empty inventory, we're gonna take a couple bottles of water, a couple food, actually, let's take a food pouch, and oxygen I'm not worried about because we're just gonna bring a portable tent with us, and, um, yeah, so I think where I need to explore, kind of, I kind of want to go past the cave. Let's go through the ice cave and see what's on the other side. If we can get to the other side. Alright, so we need a silicon. We need three of these. And we need a titanium. Do we have titanium? Yes. Alright, so we need two of those and a titanium. Oh, we need two titaniums. I'm glad I looked. Alright, so let's build this little portable tent here real quick. Make sure that we got enough. Good deal. Alright, um, let me grab a drink of water. And let's go for it. I guess we'll go up here and get a little breath of air. And let's venture in. So that marker there is that frozen lake we came upon. Well, I'm actually wanting to see if... If I can get all the way through to the other side. The lake is still frozen. And this entrance is still frozen. Looks like we've got a ways to go, folks. I could probably clip through. Uh, so this is where all the food has been hiding, huh? All those times I died. Can we get through there? What's back here? Oh, we did get through to the other side. 
Wow, that's a lot of ice. Terraforming task. Carefully manipulate explosive device in order to extract. Lattice well, last, everything is going well. Find target, approach target, place explosive device. Can't complete. That's the same message as the other one. Ooh. Ooh. There's a lot of... Holy cow, there's a lot of good stuff there. I think we're going to drop a house right here. Let me get three irons out of here somewhere. Oh, there! Oh, there's all this good explosives and stuff. So I hope the teleporter's coming soon. Are they gonna want to drop all the food? Yeah, we'll drop the food. And we'll take anything else that's good. Not quite the um, uranium mine I was looking for. I don't know which way. I think this might be a dead end here. I think this is one giant wall. That's going to thaw out. Yeah, there's no way out of here. So, I don't think I've been through here. But it hasn't thawed out yet. So, we can't get through there if we wanted to. Wow, there's a lot of good food here. Oh, I don't know where to go. I was really hoping to find some uranium. But it looks like I'm in a dead-end cave, maybe. A lot of plant life. Oh, there's a way out up there. What is that over there? I get sidetracked so easily. It's another one of those blue chips. Oh, this is where all the super alloy is. Good to know, good to know. What is that? Oh, we found some of that over by the lava. Well, this place is just gets bigger and bigger, doesn't it? I'm worried about my oxygen. Now I'm worried about having enough space to build this.
<laughs> I haven't seen any silicon. There's some. Oh, this is going to be close. How do you like that? Alright, so we've kind of ventured quite a ways from our base. My sensors estimated that the lava, that the larvae and the early life forms will appear underground on this planet. Due to this exposure to cosmic wind, the larvae will not be able to reproduce on the surface. So that's telling us that we're going to find larvae down here, I guess. Man, this is massive. All right, so we came in. We came in where? Oh no. Where did we come in at? We came up a hill or something, didn't we? All right, yeah, we came in down there. So we're going to shoot straight across this lake here. Let me go get some air. I really need to go back. Alright, I'm going to run back, drop off all this stuff that I've collected, try to empty out my inventory. Because even if I did find the uranium, I ain't got no room to collect it. Alright, so I got a handful of these chips now. Let's go cash these in real quick. We do have a few things here unlocked. Mining speed. Oh, there's our rocket for mapping. Oh, that's going to be handy. Alright, a bigger flashlight. Alright, so I have a few things now I can do. Oh, that takes so much. But, um, I kind of want to go back and explore some more of that cave. But it didn't look like I was finding the iridium I was looking for. So I think I'm going to look around over behind that rock area over there. Because I haven't really been in that section too much. I was over there, and then we were way over that way. But I haven't been over this way. So let's head over there. All right, let's head up this little hill here and see what's on the other side of this sulfur field. I've already searched those containers up there. They're quite big. I wonder if I'm going to be able to craft those later. So it looks like there's an other side to this. Oop, that's what I'm looking for. Gotta keep an eyeball out for any caves.
We got something goofy going on over there. What is all that down there? Is that ice? So I think we're on the far side of the ice field. What is that? Can be destroyed with explosives. Oh, there's my green rocks. Oh my goodness. So we left all those explosives. So let's um go back into the um back into the ice field and see if we can't get some of those explosives in there. Alright, so it looks like now that I can see it. Looks like a pretty cool looking cave over there. That's where we're headed to blow up some rocks. Looks like some power cable or something draped up through here. Probably got some air. cable going goes right into the wall so let's see how these um, mines work use it to blow up objects right click to use oh I guess I should have dropped it a little bit closer. Alright, let's try this again. It didn't give me an option to pick it back up. It just automatically arms it. I don't even want that. Alright, so that, made, that gave me a few. you're taking I ain't got the space but I can drop some stuff all right I'm feeling good here what's in this chest nothing Run over here, grab some air. Alright, so I still got a little bit of room here.
I do believe I have enough to make at least a rod now. So, um, I'm going to save the last spots here and collect some super alloy. On our way back. So, I thought I saw some somewhere where I was headed back the last time. Eat it up. Why not? This is kind of a good view from up here. Down there is that little weird wreck thing we went through yesterday with the sculptures. Right over there is my base. There we got the big ice cave. And then we just came from over there. And over that way is the lava. All right, let's go cash in these chips. Area lamp, I like those. Oh, nice. All right. And that's it for that. Now we got our rod. We just need three super alloys. And we can make nuclear power on a desolate planet. we go we're a little bit above so i just need to do that a couple more times try to get three or four of those things up i guess i hope there's enough of that stuff over there might have to like really start watching the asteroid storms and picking that stuff up from there all right so next on my list do i still have three super alloys my inventory is so full, I couldn't pick up hardly any, and they, they were just laying everywhere. Alright, so I just need two titaniums. You know, I think they might be out here. We got it all. Trouble is, where do we put this thing? So I was thinking about adding a second floor here, so I might just put it right on top there. Because we don't actually need to get inside of it right away. Guess that works for me. We'll eventually build a bridge over to it. But yeah, we don't need to get inside. As a matter of fact, we can see the research from here. Because now we've got this research. But, um, oxygen, it's a kicker now. Alright, so what do we need to put down some grass spreaders? Where are they? Two waters, a magnesium, and aluminum. I don't want to use them up. Because I need them for the other things too. Oh, I need four waters. Is 
couple of these are from me. And then we need two magnesiums and two aluminums. Alright, so then we have enough to do a couple of these. Hopefully water don't come here. We are creating biomass. Of course, we don't have that board up yet. I don't think we've unlocked it yet. Ooh. I'm gonna have to go on a scavenger hunt for some of these super alloys. Alright, I threw down my rocket base, but we ran out of power again. So, that's something I gotta deal with. Um, we got the sea spurs down, the launch platform down, the ore extractor. That was the only thing I didn't get built. But I don't have the osmium yet. I haven't even seen the osmium yet. So, we got to do more venturing before we could do that one. And then, um, these recipes up here. I don't have rocket engines. If it's not for the rocket engines, I could blast off of each one of these. But, it is what it is. Alright, so I've been playing this for a little while. Let me go check on our stats. I'm going to have to get power here after I'm done. But, um, this unlocks at 63, so that's got a long ways to go. We did get a water collector and a T3 ore extractor. And then we have a backpack coming up. So, all of these will be next episode. And then, um, we got this nuke coming up at 1.5. But that's still a little ways off. We need more of these down. But, yeah. More of these down. But anyhow. So I think that's where I'm going to leave this episode. I kind of ventured into some caves there. And killed a lot of time that way. But, um. Hmm. What do I need? Let's destroy this for now. Not sure if that's where I want to put it. Now you see, we are in going into liquid water stage. I haven't seen any water yet, which is good, I guess. I don't think we're going to see anything down there. I think that's a barrier. But we should get some ice melting and all that good stuff. And then let me check over here. So we are getting some biomass and some plant. Which will give us the bio lab and the beehives. But we're not close to... Well, we're kind of close to the bio lab. That's more crafting abilities. So, yeah, like I said a minute ago, um, leave your comments. Let me know what you guys think. Think I'm doing a good job? Think I'm surviving all right? I know I've died a hundred times, but, you know, I think I'm doing all right here. We, we got some more stuff to build. I'm going to work on the base here a little bit off camera. Maybe get some more of these power going. I know how to blow up the rocks now. Can we make more of that dynamite? Wonder where that comes in at. That's probably in the bio lab. Let's hope. Alright. Hit that like button. Let me know that you guys enjoyed this. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next turn.